ODM leader and Azimio Laomoja movement presidential contender Raila Odinga has accused Deputy President William Ruto of double speak, saying the country's number two is criticizing the government he serves from within while still enjoying the benefits of the same government. Odinga was responding to claims by Deputy President William Ruto, alleging that Kenya has, since the March 18th handshake between President Kenyatta and Odinga, been governed by what he termed a, quote, mongrel government. In his address at Chatham House in London, Odinga also said he will accept the outcome of the August elections if conducted in a free and fair manner. Let's get more from our very own Francis Ugashuri. More except again. Former Prime Minister Raila Odinga was at Chatham House in United Kingdom, the exact spot where his presumed arch rival in the August presidential race, Deputy President William Ruto, was nine days ago. <laughs> With the State House race 145 days away, Odinga, who contested the presidential poll outcomes in the 2007, 2013 and 2017 general elections, expressed optimism that the 2022 race will be different. We are, of course, monitoring the, the Electoral Commission and um, we have actually pointed out areas of our concern that we want them to address to ensure that the process is free and fair. During his address at Chatham House, Ruto challenged Odinga, his key rival in the August race, to make a public commitment that he will accept the poll outcome. And we have actually said that if this is free and fair and we, we win or we lose uh, fairly, we will accept the result either way, uh, as long as it's free and fair. Odinga using the Chatham House platform to dismiss Ruto's claims that the March 2018 handshake vandalized the opposition and gave President Kenyatta's administration a run without oversight. Opposition did not collapse, to answer you. Uh, we did not go into government, unlike the propaganda being spread by our detractors. We remained very much in opposition. Our party in parliament was doing what is done in this country, what you call Her Majesty's Law and Opposition, where you do not just propose for the sake of proposing, but propose and also offer a constructive alternative as what you are opposing. Ruto had described the Jubilee administration after the handshake, a mongrel government, with the opposition calling the shots in government. There have been fallacious theories that, oh, you've got... Uh, opposition in government and uh, government in opposition. Nothing could be further from the truth because that so-called government in opposition is living in official dome. The deputy president, when he came to this country and the United States, he spent over one million, Kenyan, one million U.S. dollars in taxpayers' money to bring that entourage out here. He's traveling with the government security. Everything is done for him officially. I have to pay my airfare to come here. With President Kenyatta backing his state house bid, Odinga's critics have labeled him a state project who lacks the moral authority to tackle issues such as grand corruption and rising public debt. Uh, he's being undermined from within his own government by his, his uh, deputy, who's basically an opposition inside the government. Uh, and therefore, you know, any fight against corruption is politicized. If anybody is uh, investigated by investigative authorities and is uh, arrested or being charged, there's always the cry that, oh, so-and-so is being targeted because he's my supporter. And so he's being because he's my support. So they cannot really fight against this corruption internally because of internal contradictions within the Jubilee government itself. I do not have that kind of baggage myself. I'm coming in there with clean hands. During the Chatham House session, Odinga also outlined his economic agenda, foreign policy and regional outlook should he form government after the August polls. Odinga will tomorrow address Kenyans living in the UK. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.